started off with finesse and uh haji has been doing the same as well yeah same thing and they, easy from sxc imbalance and one of them will get that championship today yeah this day won't end well if we reach like 12 a.m 12 01 probably that they could be champions for the next day <laughs> but, that, but but that wouldn't even matter because they're Doesn't still going to be matter. champions champion at the end of the day and apparently for us it's literally at the end of the day yeah it's usually when you say at the end of the day it's just a saying this is literally at like 12 midnight probably i mean we're still at game number three it's only game three we have four more games after this if we go the distance i'm just saying yeah could be a possibility big big possibility right there so or who's getting the early game that they want though at this point i think omega is a little low Hayes is almost going back oh he hits a tower and hits him stun though they catch out lusty lusty's forced to use the flicker and haji tried to take him down but haji taking a lot of third shots there will just back out and, easy here yeah and flap they will try to punish heat he, he doesn't have the revital that's this. going on for him Toshi trying to run away. They don't have the flicker. And look at Few. Few with one it. more stack. One Flicker more in. stack. One more. And oh, okay. they, they, they won't get it. Aggressive. This is a very aggressive Valir play here coming from Few. But that was a waste, though. Absolute waste of a flicker. They didn't flickered, get the kill. You flickered. You didn't even have the mana to do so. Yep. And Few. he gets oh, caught oh, out. There you go. Way, way too much. Way too much. Way too little resources to be able to walk out. He already lost the flicker because of the offense. When you get hit by the arrow, that's that's a sure kill. And Karlzy here, going straight for that turret. Look at Kurtzy. He's just focusing on to getting those minions onto the bottom lane. They're trying to take it out as well. 77 gold. And as you look at the preparations right now, what yep. is he rocker? Omega's ahead. Flicker for free members of Omega. And on the other side it is pure yellow mm -hmm. for the yellow team. And look at Cardsy here. He's using that red uh, skin, elite skin. And it actually looks good. <laughs> it really does, right? I, I, mean, I kind of miss that skin because a lot of... Everyone uses the, the Starlight the Dragon Tamer skin. Yeah. But, but this one's like, it's flaming hot. You know? Yes, the Scarlet look on it looks really hot though. But here comes the... Oh my Whoa! What a disaster there! Oh my goodness, punish! This is how you punish people and Brenny Sports <laughs> taking the fight to Omega! What happened there? Oh. We, we didn't even have time to shoutcast anymore. We just had to wow that. That was just... We need a replay. Where's the replay of that one? We need to slow it down oh, we, as well. We need to slow it down Everyone as well. collapsed at the same time. It's like, who do I call out first? <laughs> it's like, you, you know the, the, the moments in your life where you go, just want go. to say something very intelligent and you just say, whoa. Yeah, look at it. Whoa, that's the big whoa from Lusty. <laughs> he was the first one who caught three people from Omega. And here we are trying to say something intelligent. Then it's just, whoa. whoa. <laughs> you know? That was Gillette. Instant replay, hashtag shape the day. Definitely shape the day for Brent Esports. But Omega, surprisingly, they're the ones who got that turtle. I don't think the lineup of Brent Esports really give a lot of emphasis to getting that turtle, to be honest. So they're, they're fine, I think. You want to go for the team fight instead. You, you want to go to the team fight instead. But if uh, I don't think Brent Esports had the, had the resources to actually fight them as well. Because I think right now, they're ultimate cooldowns just refreshed yeah that's right and here we go the big one and they catch up the curtsy curtsy and this is why the barracks is so annoying like as long as you can get the daytona's welcome it's like an easy kill it's almost sure guarantee as long as there's no one next to the wait how did carl tzy pull that off anyway he got a kill over Hayes, who failed to back and then Toshi's gonna get a bit of an answer on the bottom, but as we were saying, sure kill when you get a Daytona's welcome, there's no one, no no teammates nearby. Yeah. It's like, what, what are you gonna do then? After you're stunned to a wall and then three people are hitting you. But if you try to help, like Hayes, those things happen. You you die in the process as well. Yep, that's the lineup that Brent has. It's like long distance, you can engage right away. Uh, and they also have strong 
up close melee potential. Mm -hmm. And the arrow will is there. <laughs> is exactly. Will connect to Carnsey. Flaps oh, here. He's is there. He will be. Uh, he's able to get out. He's yeah. able to get out, but I don't think that's a good idea to go out right now as a turret. Will be the next target for Brent Esports. The moment they saw Heath go back, they went straight for the turret. Smart Flutty, move. Yeah, Flutty is absorbing the arrows. He can regenerate with quick sand guard very easily in this matchup. And then everyone else from Brent Esports, they're just trying to wait and see if Omega's gonna make a mistake. But right now, Brent Esports are ahead by 2.5k gold. Turtle will be spawning. This will be the next big thing. And they are setting up. Mm. Turtle is now the main target of Brent Esports. Where is Haji? Haji is somewhere near. And let's see. The turtle has been slain. It goes to the side of Omega. Carl they are trying to minimize the losses right now by just running away. And they will they will lose nothing. Yeah, it was Carl Teasy. And uh, that's basically what you want to do. You want to get that turtle buff over to this guy and he's more confident confident with this in any character that you give carl tc he's going to maximize that shield around the turtle and he's also going to maximize the damage because the thing is if you give it to a roger the roger will dive the roger is going to keep diving exactly and he's going to get kills because mm -hmm. of the percent hp damage that he does plus the uh, the flat damage that he'll get he's going to get from the turtle buff this is actually in a very early endless battle he got that in this battle in seven minutes. Not that early, actually. Like, if it's his second item, yes, it yes, is. It is. If well, he went for Raptor Machete first. Oh, so was, this, this is fast. This is fast, actually. Yes, it's fast. It's like usually you'd have a boot and a machete at this point, maybe on the way there first. But he already completed, so it's really quickly. But. Brand Esports, they're still, I think they're still going to get ahead in, in the economy here because of everything Carl is doing. So, Ling, are, Ling is one of those heroes that can just negate or not get the uh, any specialized boots. Just get the brown boots and you're, you'll do fine. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Carl Teasy, though, will be the target, but... Have Look at this. Look at this lusty hugging it out. And they can throw it to Hayes, but Hayes isn't really in the in the area. And this is Brenny Sports just doing doing stuff, I guess. This is the normal things that Brenny Sports do. It's not even fast paced. It's just slow and methodical. And normally you'd be able to, you can tell, you can kind of. Uh, predict when Brittany Sports is going to go for a push, but the question is, can you do anything about it, even if you know that they're going to go for it? Even yeah. if you know there are four people from Brent there, like, okay, you have that knowledge, what are you going to do with that knowledge? What are you going to do with that info? Yeah, and clearly, Brittany Sports got the turtle instead. Yep. And they have full control of whatever objective that they want on this map. Omega is just being proactive. They're reacting to everything that uh, Omega is a uh, Brandy Sport is doing. That's funny to say, considering Omega has the Selena. They're supposed to have that <laughs> map control. They're supposed to have vision yeah. and map control. So what's happening? It's the other way around here. In Brandy Sports, they're just using pure damage output. And again, it's difficult to engage if there's a Valir. You're, you're a Roger, you're a Ruby, you're, you're a Fabs, you're, <laughs> you're a Baksha. There's a Valir who's spamming these Irritate. Look at this. Look at that. Ruby can't do anything. <laughs> and it's just funny to watch. It's, I'm not having fun. I'm not laughing because so she died. I'm laughing because if I was the if I was the Ruby, I won't know what to do as well. Yeah, it's it's annoying in a way where you know the capability of your hero, but you're not given the chance to flood that. Yeah, you can't do anything because you're just getting slowed and stunned. And they're Don't gonna stop. go for the push, and currency being the confident guy that he is, goes in front of three people and just does something. Wow! Brandy Sports! Okay, Omega has her own answer. Currency getting called out by We Are Angry. That, that is a close. really that good close. move. That's a really good move coming up from Omega, and they push Brandy Sports back. And that defense is actually pretty good. I have to say that they uh, they were able to get Carl T Z low. Imagine if Carl T Z didn't get low in that engagement, Red Esports would not stop. So they got the right target. They lowered him. They lowered his HP. They didn't need to kill him. They just needed to lower his HP. And they're able to hold on to at least their side inhibitor turret. Yeah, and this is going to be 
currently aiming to go for that Lord. They position themselves in a way where they can actually just end this, and he tries to go for the Cyclone Nahid. Here comes Repo, <laughs> and it's like it's oh, like funny. your older brother I got you, trying bro. to bail you out of a yeah, fight. Yeah, exactly. He was like bouncing for you. And Toshi, he is a non-factor in this game. He's a non-factor. Like, I, I haven't seen anything significant coming out of the Ruby yet. But, again, Hajiji, he's not dying as much. So there's still something there for Omega. We're waiting for Omega to make a big play. But they're the ones getting played out here. And this is going to be Heath. He's trying to roll around as much as possible. Karthi knows that these people cannot take him down. Karthi going for the Tempest of Blades. Doesn't want to get hit by those turret shots. And they will just back off once again. Big play on the bottom side, and the turret will be defended. But again, that's going to be Bren Esports just clearing out the jungle for the meantime. Getting the gold lead to 10,000 at 11 minutes and 25 seconds is a good achievement. They're able to do it against a team like Omega. That's part two, basically. Mm -hmm. Bren Esports slowly but surely trying to get this victory away from the side of Omega. Now, Bren. Are they even aiming to go for the Lord right now? Uh, they're slowly. They're slow. They're a bit slow on taking that. They're ma just trying to make sure that the waves are controlled first. So they're sending Flap Teasy and Few near the bottom side to deal with it. Actually, it's Carl Teasy instead. Never mind. He was just there to get vision. Mm -hmm. Flap Teasy. And they get slapped. 5v1. <laughs> oh my god. They get slapped. They get slapped. I wanted to see that. I want to see what Flap had, did with the 1v5. And look at this. Look at all the ultimates that they had to, you know, burn. That's a lot, yeah. Culture and Inferno had to be burned. And uh, We Are Angry had to be burned. Looks like they're gonna... Because of that, they're not gonna try to force a big fight yet. But they will try to go for Lusty. Lusty? Low. Where is he positioning himself? And he catches Toshi. Toshi gets swallowed here. Haji, look at him. And pushed back on the wall. That is a long stun. And here comes the fight. Curtsy tries to run away. And here comes the Curtsy. Who is the real TZ? Who is the best TZ? Look at Rebo. Everyone's is it running. Is it going to be Curtsy or Curtsy? Oh! And they will get the go. kill. And the next one is going to be Haze. Haji here getting controlled by Rebo. And they try to go to the middle lane. No, they won't. As Curtsy will try to take the Lord, but Brandy Sports calls for him, and, and they are saying that, okay, you don't have to do anything anymore. That's it. That's they it. Told us welcome. It is over. It closes him out, and that's a two.